Welcome back to Sports World. With the season finale of the Australian Rally Car Championship was staged in Canberra last weekend. 312 kilometres through the rugged forest tracks of our nation's capital. It certainly was a very gruelling event which claimed many victims and the New Zealand-Australia battle lines were drawn very early. Kim Sporton was there. <laughs> There were thrills and spills aplenty at the 10th Rally of Canberra. Alan Laverick hadn't even got off-road when he lost control, taking out a cameraman along the way. It's known as the Formula One of the bush. Possum Bourne is the Damon Hill of car rally. They're like sort of gods to us, us little class people. And they're, um, yeah, they're just, <laughs> they're the best. This is my sport, this is what I've decided I want to do and I want to perfect it to the best of my ability. So that's why every corner I try to get it right and the next corner and the braking and everything. And, and I think if, if you're always focused on that, the motivation is always there because you always believe you can do it better. And left and right and long three left, 50. It's the New Zealander's first time back on the Australian circuit since 1993, after twice taking out the prestigious three, four, Asian right, Pacific left. Championship. His comeback with Team Subaru has been outstanding. He came into the Canberra Rally with the Oz title already sewn up. Five wins from seven starts. Really, his appearance uh, has spiced things up enormously. Winner of the past three ARC crowns, Neil Bates agrees the return of his arch rival is forcing his Toyota team to reach new heights. It's been really good, actually. It's made us develop the car a lot further, made me work a lot harder, and, and it's been a uh, close competition all year, and, and I've enjoyed it immensely. It's been a drama-filled season, and the rough dirt roads in the Canberra forests were making the season finale just as tough for the cars and crews. cars and crews set off the day two's action, starting with the 38km Black Springs stage. Possum was having a close encounter with a kangaroo, but managed to double his lead to 16 seconds over local star Neil Bates. Bates and South Australia's Ed Ordinsky in a Mitsubishi Lancer were locked in their own private battle. This round would decide second place overall. But disaster struck at the end of day two. With a crack to the cross member of their Celica, co-driver Coral Taylor forced to guide the car into the lockup. Day three dawned with a threatening sky, while Bates' crew had just 10 minutes to ready the $300,000 Celica for the 100 kilometre final day's racing. I mean, in rallying, you learn to do a lot of sort of improvising and a lot of working in very difficult conditions. And it's this team that, the team of guys here working on the car that makes our team successful. And they were. This, more than any motorsport, is a true team effort. The co-driver's role crucial. Turn one, two left, through gate, don't go wide. 280. How intense is your job? Um, it's very intense because um, Possum drives extremely hard on notes and he takes them uh, right to the limit. He, uh, he has total faith in them so he normally has faith in me and if I'm not confident with it so uh, we can't do the job properly. Despite the dust, the dirt and the long treks to vantage points, spectators were there in droves. This is action you can almost touch. But to really appreciate the danger and excitement of rally cut. <laughs> this is a true spectator sport. To really appreciate the drama and excitement of rallying, you have to get roadside. Possum Bourne lost his best friend and co-driver in a rallying accident. Even that hasn't deterred this adrenaline junkie. And if I'd given up there, I mean, all that work he'd put into me, into my career and his own, would have been for nothing. Wife Peggy and son Taylor also like life in the fast lane. 
but I mean, no motorsports in the family. Taylor's going to follow in his father's footsteps for sure. Back on the track, Bates could no longer match it with the flying Kiwi, whose lead ballooned to nearly six minutes. went on to claim victory and although Neil Bates nursed the Salika home into second place it was Ed Ordinsky and Mark Stacey who snared second place overall. Coming up on Sports World, Australia versus Ireland from Lansdowne Road. In soccer, David Hill defends the goals of Terry Venables. Melbourne Cup heroes Saintly, Darren Biedman and Bart Cummings prepare to rise again on the eve of the world's richest horse race. We swing along with an inspirational golfing senior. And Mark Philippoussis tells us why his coaches last about as long as his serves. But up next, banned and belittled. Jim Cassidy, finally back on track.